Hi, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, it's been a while since we've made a tutorial, and uh, this is a new one for you. Uh, pretty easy. Another uh, easy tutorial. This is a, a common effect, a, a wedding photo effect. Uh, it uses uh, some black and white, some color, some blurring, some erasing. Uh, it's a very common thing. You can do this with uh, wedding photos, graduation photos, uh, anything like that. It makes stuff pop out. Now I found some royalty pic royalty free pictures. Here's a, uh, a wedding picture. This is nice. And uh, we want to get this effect right there. Now if you can see, I've kind of blurred it, done that sort of the glamour shot effect, and we've made the flowers pop. That's a, that's a real common thing. I've seen that a lot in wedding photos where they'll actually make the background black and white and make like the flowers pop or sometimes they'll do it with a close-up on the hands and they'll make the wedding rings uh, pop out. Um, real easy to do. Uh, let me show you the uh, variations on this. I've got the uh, the blurred layer set to 61 percent but if we do it completely black and white oh well no I didn't want to do that that's completely blurred. Anyway you get the idea. I'll explain it to you in a minute. So anyway there's the, the two layers of the effect. There's the original layer. There's the blurred layer. Now, I don't know if we can see the blurred layer here. All you can see is I've got stuff erased here. Basically, the bouquets. Uh, I've got the uh, eraser tool on the black and white layer. Uh, and a few little things to pop out. Her uh, necklace, her earrings, and her little tiara. So, uh, I will show you how to do that. And we will start fresh with a new layer. Okay, so let me get all this out of there. And let's say we're starting with this layer right there. Okay, so that's the basic background layer. Uh, I know it doesn't look like it here. Those were just the demonstration layers. Okay, so here's the background layer. I am going to make a copy of that layer. Okay, now that top layer, we're going to do similar to the um, to the uh, Gaussian blur or the glamour shot effect. Um, but this is going to be slightly different. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first desaturate this layer and make it black and white. Okay, so let's do image, adjust, uh, desaturate right there. And that's going to turn into shades of gray. Just takes the information and does it in shades of gray. Okay, so there's the color, there's the black and white on top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, and I'm going to do like the glamour shot and I'm going to um, blur it. So we're going to do a filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, uh, this is uh, set at about 8.7. You can do various amounts of it. Um, for the one we were doing, we'll just do it at 8.7. That's what I did on the demonstration. Uh, it, it holds the settings here from the previous one. We'll call it 8.5. Okay, so 8.5. Okay, there we go. So there's the color. There's the blurred layer. Now I'm going to take that layer, it's in black and white, and this is kind of neat when I reduce the opacity. It's going to give it that soft effect, but it also uh, sort of fades and dreamifies the, the uh, picture. Can you see how that, it, it sort of washes it out and makes it dreamy looking uh, because it's in black and white. Now see if I, if I took it all the way down to zero, you can see the colors all come back and they're fully vibrant. But since it's in black and white, it's sort of dulling it down and adding a softness to it. Okay, so about 50%. Uh, actually, let's do it even a little more than that. I'm going to do about 55. There we go. So now you can see the effect without and the effect with. Okay, that's just the first part of the effect. And if I go a little long, I'm probably going to make this a multi-part tutorial. Because some of this is going to take a little bit of hand editing. And I may have to clip it out. Uh, just because you don't want to waste time watching me do all this stuff while I do it. I'll give you an idea how to do it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is highlight this area down here. Okay, now see this is kind of fuzzy. I'm going to take the eraser tool and I'm going to make this pop out. Okay, and all you have to do is I'm on the grade blur layer. Look at that. All I got to do is erase it and bam, it's popping right out. Okay, I'm actually erasing the the gray layer is literally all I'm doing. So it's letting the color come through. Okay. So now I am going to temporarily stop the video while I do this and then I will come back when it's
it's all erased properly and then we'll continue from there alrighty so see you in just a second okay continuing with the uh, tutorial uh, stopping part way in between here uh, you can see I'm close up and I'm using the erase tool and I am literally erasing that gray layer if you can see this okay see there's the regular color and here's the gray layer on top so what I'm doing is I'm just literally erasing that gray layer and it's letting the color pop through I'm just like I said I'm, I'm interrupting the tutorial because this is taking me a long time it's a little a little bit hand intensive but you can see what I'm doing I'm using the eraser tool and I can go into the the little tight parts I just reduce the size of my uh, brush that I'm erasing with and I can get all those little parts in there see that okay all the little the little parts there's another green leaf okay so basically you just keep erasing 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 and it's letting the color show through okay so we will continue more give me just a second we will pause the recording and come back in another minute if I... okay we've got the majority of the erasing done we're just cleaning up little bits here I've done down in this area I did her bracelet and now let's zoom in and I will do her the little necklace okay so we're going to delete that let me shrink the shrink the uh, brush size down see if that makes it pop here yeah that stands out a little bit we can get her earring all I'm doing is just erasing the top layer it's just gonna make that pop yeah see that made that really pop see how much brighter that got okay now let's do her tiara and the little pearls in her hair okay I'm just gonna do little random pearls in her tiara that just kind of, to me, that makes it more interesting instead of doing the whole thing. Let's see what that looks like from far away. Yeah, that looks neat. I like that. Just random. There you go. Now, can you see how that made all that pop? Okay. See, here's the regular. Okay, there's with the layer with the erasing. See the erasing right there? Can you see where it's light? All, all I did was erase that. Now we have to do one final thing to try to help a little bit because we don't want the edges too sharp. So basically you can just go around with the blur tool and just kind of blur the edges just a little bit to soften them up. It's no big deal. There you go. Just however you want to do it. Just blur around the edges. I've done this whole bouquet. This uh, chiffon coming out of here. I like the thing chiffon. Okay. And here it's a little troublesome. Can you see I've I've erased it, but it's actually catching too much of the background white. So what I'm going to do is just go in there with the blur tool, and I'm going to blur it a little bit so that that is not quite so bold. Okay, so just blur it a little bit, soften that down so the background white doesn't stand out so much, but it's still letting that color through. Okay, that's a little hard. This this spot right here, these little tiny I don't know whatever they are, pine leaves or whatever that are so uh, so spiky that's a little hard to uh, to uh, erase that exactly okay so uh, there you go that's the effect right there so once again remember we basically let me erase all that so you can see what we got I took our basic original layer okay I'm working on a copy of that later so there's the layer I made a gray layer or a, a copy of the layer, then I uh, desaturated it, and then I uh, reduced the opacity, but not all the way, so it gives it the dreamy effect. So you've got some color, but it's not completely black and white. You could, if you wanted, you could uh, make this layer uh, do it uh, black and white without blurring it. I've seen that before, and do the same thing, just black and white, not blurred, and then erase this. But I kind of don't like that. It's a little too sharp. I mean, I've seen it done that way, but I like the dreamy effect. So I've uh, erased where the points of interest are, her bouquet, his corsage, well, whatever you call that corsage, uh, her jewelry to pop out, a little bit in her tiara, and that's it. Now, you can do that with any type of photo, whatever you want to make pop. Like I said, uh, graduation photos, uh, you know, portraiture, I said portraiture, and I meant it, uh, that sort of thing. So uh, give it a try. Uh, let me know how you like it. I will post this up as soon as I can, and uh, let me know if there's any other suggestions. If you have something you can't figure out or something you want me to try, uh, we'll see what we can do. Alrighty? 
Once again, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you in our next tutorial.